So I tried with such Eros Energy a few weeks back, I had it on this stick and it kept oozing for hours and the more I smelled it, the more I liked it. I bought it the next day and wanted to wear it a bit more before sharing my thoughts on it. In this review, I'll share why I decided to buy it and I'll talk about what I think Eros Energy smells like. And I'll also do a quick comparison with the others in the line. Drop a like on this video and let me know in the comments if you want me to do a full comparison of them all. Let's take a look at the notes. Some of the notes in Versace Eros Energy are lemon, blood orange, grapefruit, lime, Sicilian bergamot, mandarin orange, pink pepper, white amber, black currant, oak moss, patchouli and musk. I'm gonna get to performance, usage and more in a short while, but let's start with what it smells like. Versace Eros Energy opens with a massive dose of citrus and it's intensely fresh and refreshing in a citrusy way. I can't pick up on every detail in this bright sort of a citrusy cocktail but the lemon definitely stands out together with the bergamot and the lime. It's a zesty and sort of a sparkling freshness with a bit of fresh sweetness to it. This to me at least is not a bitter kind of citrus. So the first time when I had this on that tester strip it smelled good for sure and I got intrigued but I was not convinced. However as it started to sort of settle down that intense citrus gets sort of a rounder fuller and a bit more sweet which is something I like a lot. I'm not saying it's something revolutionary but its rich freshness does stand out at least a little bit compared to many other fresh scents that focus on one kind of citrus. So the opening intensely citrusy fresh with a bit of fresh sweetness to it. The opening actually stays for a while and what leads it into the mids is the pink pepper. It cuts through the freshness and sort of brings it another kind of freshness. It's still fresh and it's still dominated by the citrus but it's even more nuanced. The mids is also where I feel it starts to become fuller, richer and a bit more sweet and almost a bit sort of a creamy as well. I like the opening quite a bit but the mids is better for sure since it becomes a lot fuller and more sort of a creamy fresh. As it finally goes into the dry down that freshness becomes a bit less full and less intense and the whole thing changes into a mix of freshness and soft musk with a bit of soft woodiness. So softly musky and woody with the lemon being the most prominent part of what's left of the freshness. When I say softly musky and woody I mean exactly that. Musk usually brings softness but this is like musk light because it's quite light. The soft woodiness of it has something slightly earthy about it but this part is very soft. It does feel like the dry down is where the whole thing finally sort of it becomes a bit balanced. It's still citrusy fresh but not as intense as before and it's more creamy fresh by now. And the further into the dry down it goes the more the freshness fades. Eros Energy has a bit of Mont Blanc Explorer vibes but I do not feel they are the same. And it's just the short part of it that makes me think of Explorer. I know some of my subscribers feel they are very close, but I don't think they are. Eros Energy also has a bit of that Versace Eros thing going on, but I'll get to that part later on. So let's talk a bit about the vibe of Versace Eros Energy. This is fresh done in a fun and sort of a flirty way. It's got more sexiness to it compared to a lot of other freshies, but it's not as sexy flirty as the other Eros. Happy summer vibes for sure. So what about comp? a mass appeal. This is definitely fresh done in a mass appealing way but it's not as mass appealing as the other arrows. This is intense freshness which some will absolutely love and some will dislike. To some this will smell like a cleaner spray, to some it will smell like only lemon and some will think it smells absolutely fantastic. The mids where that freshness gets fuller and sort of a creamy is definitely where most will enjoy it more. So what about the performance? I'm getting good longevity with it. On my skin the longevity is definitely solid for a fresh air. Projection seems okay for at least the first hour or so but I need to wear it more to get a better feel for it. And I'll share my thoughts on its projection later on. I would love to hear your thoughts on its performance. Do you also get solid longevity or do you feel it's a weak scent? Let's talk a bit about usage and let's start with seasons. This is fresh, citrusy freshness with a bit of sweetness and a dry down that's softly woody and musky. You can use Eros Energy throughout the year whenever you want the fresh scent on you. With that said, it's refreshing and fresh scent will definitely shine the most on a warm day. So some for sure but can be used whenever. As for occasions any really works for the gym work or school or whenever you want the freshing on you. So who's Versace Eros Energy for? I think the most obvious thing here is that you gotta enjoy intensely citrusy scents. If you're sensitive to citrus in fragrances 
then this is definitely not for you. I can't stress this enough. This is intensely citrusy fresh, and while some will absolutely love it, some will feel it's too lemony or that it smells like a cleaning product. The dry down is where things get a bit more balanced with soft musk and woodiness, but that part is not an intense one, and I think that if you enjoy the opening, you'll probably enjoy the dry down as well. So simplified, if you love citrus intense fragrances, then this might be for you. If you don't, it's not for you. If you only buy beast mode fragrances, then this is not for you. Even though I'm getting good longevity, it's still a freshie, and it's not a beast mode room filler fragrance. Finally, do not blind by this thing thinking it's gonna be very similar to the other Eros. Because while this has that Eros vibe to it, it's also a bit different, and you might be disappointed if you expect it to be close to those. Which leads me to a quick comparison to the other Eros fragrances. The main thing that separates Eros Energy from the EDT, the EDP, the Parfum and Flame is that it doesn't have that sort of a signature Eros Vanilla. Those four are all fragrances with a bit more freshness and they all have lemon, but they all have more depth and variety to them compared to Energy. Compared to those four, it's also the Eros that's the most fresh and the one with least depth to it. The others are all more complex with a lot more depth to them. Eros EDT is all about a bit of freshness with vanilla, mint and fruitiness and it's a bit sweet. Eros Eau de Parfum is less sweet and more balanced than the EDT with an aromatic and citrusy freshness that's balanced up by vanilla, woodiness and fruitiness. The Parfum goes in a less sweet and fruity direction than the EDT and it's almost like a stripped down version of the Eau de Parfum with a more sort of a green kind of freshness. Flame is intensely citrusy and aromatic fresh in the opening, with a dry down that's dominated by warm and sweet vanilla that's balanced up by a bit of woodiness. Before Eros Energy, Flame was the one I felt had the most intense and nuanced dose of citrusy freshness. Now I think Eros Energy is the most intensely fresh in the line. One clear difference between the two though is that Energy goes all in on citrus, whereas Flame has a more nuanced kind of freshness that's both citrusy and aromatic and spicy. Eros Energy has nuance to its freshness, but it's still mostly about different kinds of citrus coming together. So it's quite clear when you compare them that the aim here was to take the line in a very fresh direction. This still has a bit of Eros feel to it, especially in the dry down, but it's quite different from the others. So what are some of the alternatives to Versace Eros Energy? So there are a lot of freshes out there and a lot of citrus focused fragrances as well. But I do think Eros Energy is doing its own thing at least a little bit. Eros Energy to me is mostly about intense citrus and when I think about alternatives, I'm gonna go in that direction. Let's first look within the line and at Eros Flame. Eros Flame is also intensely citrusy fresh, but like I mentioned, it has a more nuanced dose of freshness and it has that Eros Vanilla with a bit of sweetness. Good scent with good performance and a good alternative for someone who wants a bit of depth to go along with that freshness. John Varvata's Artisan Pure is all about a massive dose of different kinds of citrus on a base of woodiness and musk. It's quite different compared to Eros Energy though. It's a sharper kind of citrus that's not as sweet and it does lean a bit more towards a more bitter kind of citrus. Artisan Pure is for citrus lovers only and they are not the same but it's an intensely citrusy fresh scent that I enjoy. Another fragrance that's intensely lemony fresh is Chanel Allure Medition Blanche. To me it's a wicked blend of citrus together with musk, sandalwood, cedar and vanilla. Creamy woodiness, intense but smooth lemony freshness and vanilla. Very different compared to Eros Energy but when I thought of sort of a lemony fresh scents I thought of Edition Blanche, which I think is a fantastic one from Chanel. None of these are the same as Eros Energy, but they are alternatives that I like a lot. So let's talk about price. So I bought this on sale for just under 100 bucks and it usually retails for above that. I think this will be like the other thing in line in that it will turn up often on sales or on discounters. So I don't think it's gonna be hard to avoid paying full retail for it. So how am I going to rate with such Eros Energy? This gives me a nuanced dose of citrus that's not too sharp or too bitter and one that turns into a full and sort of a creamy freshness with a bit of sweetness. I did not buy it because I feel it's a very complex scent with a lot of depth because it's not. I bought it because it gives me a very specific thing, citrusy freshness in a great way and in a way that's a bit different compared to my other citrus focused fragrances. A lot of people will most likely feel it's a very simple kind of scent and in a way I agree it's not something complex but I really like how the citrus smells. To me it's a freshy that smells really good with a bit of that Eros vibe but going in a different direction. Where such an Eros energy gets 7 or 7.5 from me at least right now. So I would absolutely love to know how you 
you feel about Versace Eros Energy and how you would rate this thing from 1 to 10.